What's up, guys? The awesome peeps over there at Super Clean sent me a care package yesterday. We're gonna go try and see if we can put this thing to good use. Old Porky's a greasy mess because she leaks a bit, so uh, some floor dry always nice. So for those of you that haven't seen her before, this is the cheapest forklift I could find on Facebook Marketplace. And the link to the uh, video series on this guy is right here. So click that if you haven't seen these, I highly recommend it. Anyway, I picked this forklift up for like 200 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace, uh, not running. Drug it home here, uh, got it running to get it off the trailer just barely. And we've done a few things to it to get her going here, and uh, I haven't worked on it in a while because I've been super busy, but I need to work on the brake system next. And uh, basically, she's just a greasy mess, as most pieces of equipment this age are. I don't know how well you can really see on camera, but everything down here's got a nice thick layer of grease on it, you know? So uh, while I'm all for anti-rusting agents, it uh, does make it somewhat of a bear to work on. So I gotta work on the brake system and that's all down in here. And uh, there's some other things I'd like to check and inspect up here. And you really can't do that with uh, 50 years of grease buildup on it. So Super Clean is nice enough to send me over a bunch of uh, degreasers because they saw that I do a lot of that. And apparently they think my wheels are dirty because uh, they sent me some wheel cleaner too. And uh, I'm not much on shining up the rig, but uh, maybe, you know, maybe we could uh, clean our sneakers up a bit. Might not be a bad idea. Probably look good on Big Dumpy if I did those ones too. So, we're gonna test out the old degreasers for sure today. We've got uh, plenty of degreasing to do. The old mast is pretty filthy there. and uh, Engine's not too bad. I did steam clean this thing when I first got it, but uh, definitely still, still got some gunk on her. So, they sent me the aerosol can, which uh, according to the label is a new thing for them biodegradable that's pretty cool and uh, they got the foaming one which one is this this is this doesn't say it's foaming this guy says it's foaming so I'm not sure which one's better here these two are the same ones just an aerosol and uh, we're gonna try the foaming down here in the real heavy area see if the foaming does a little bit better job and then we'll spray the regular kind back here on the engine where all the other uh, little greasy spots are I guess we'll uh, just start high with the old degreaser and work our way down. Well, that's nice. You can see where see where you put it. Everything is greasy, and this is after it's been steamed, cleaned once already. Hot water pressure washer. Yeah. Well, this ought to clean her up right nice. I really like that. You can see where it uh, see where you got her sprayed at. Oh, it's so heavy down here. Good golly. Thank you. 
sweet. Well, we'll let her bake on there a few minutes while I uh, get the pressure washer hooked up and we'll have at her. I guess. Okay, I just realized I recorded a bunch of that with uh, the zoom on, so I hope you guys uh, are still able to see what's going on in that footage and it doesn't turn out like crap, but that's uh, really impressive results, I have to say, from just a, a spray-on cleaner. If you've never degreased 
uh, piece of equipment before with just a regular cold water pressure washer. I, I can't oversell <laughs> how much of a pain in the ass it can be because grease is pretty stubborn, especially when it's caked on like it was here. And that stuff really did do a number on it. Now it's not 100% clean. Uh, I'm going to spray it down again and it's it should get the rest of it judging by what it took off the first time. I'm, I'm very impressed. Uh, Super Clean's been around for, for a long time and I've always known about it and just, I don't know, never picked any up. But this, uh, this might change my mind on that because that was pretty darn impressive. I spoiled myself and bought a Steam Jenny and that does, you know, a wonderful job on grease compared to a cold water pressure washer. But uh, that's not what we're using today. We're just using the old cold water job. And this really, really did a number on it. Like I said, if you've never done it, I can't, uh, can't really oversell this. This is pretty impressive. I mean, even up here on the mast, it was just smeared on there and it's, look at that, I'm not even getting any on my hands. That's awesome. That never happens. I'm actually gonna let the mast down some and we'll spray up here around the forks a little better. Yeah, you see how greasy that is in there? That, look at that. That's how thick we're talking about some grease here. So. Uh, if we can just spray that with a cold water pressure washer and even dent that, that's impressive. Let's give her a good spray down again. I really like the foam. It uh, lets you see where you sprayed. That's nice. Yeah. We had a good liberal application there. We'll spray down here in the little crevices and places we didn't get the grease off yet. It's always the little nooks and crannies where it hides. Nooks and crannies. Oh, this baby's gonna shine like new. just the uh, the regular old degreaser from super clean give that a second to kick in and see what she does
We'll do the old under the hood routine here, try and get down in all the nooks and crannies I missed the last time I washed it. But uh, as I've stated in previous equipment washing videos, it's a real pain because grease just spatters all over everything and you end up having to wash the whole thing 10 times. So anymore, I just get the heavy stuff first and then expect to have to wash the whole thing from the top to bottom two or three times. Like the forklift here is such a tight, compacted area. Really difficult to uh, get to half of this stuff. But we can do the best we can, and that's all we can do. I am very impressed with this stuff so far. Seems to be doing a great job. Well, just like I said, now that I've spattered grease everywhere from all the heavy areas, I need to give the whole thing a good coat down because there's spattered grease all over my nice propane tank here. So uh, we'll give her a good mist down over the whole thing. Uh, I do notice that the foaming stuff seems to work better than the non-foaming, uh, particularly in the heavy areas. But uh, this stuff, the, the basic stuff, still works great for uh, you know just everything else. The really heavy areas, though, seems like the foaming definitely works better. But, uh, start giving her the old mist down here. Get a little bit on everything. There you go guys i also uh spritzed off the old dirt scooter while i was out here and i did use some super clean on that and it actually uh helped too around uh, on a dirt bike when you lube the chain up you always get that sticky chain lubricant all over your swing arms sprockets rims everything so uh super clean took that all off real nice too but over here on the old uh porky fork this is the cleanest she's been since i've owned her uh it cleaned up the paint real nice uh, not that the paint the paints crap anyway, but it it did clean it up and brighten it up quite a bit uh, Down in here where it was super heavy and super bad. It is ten times better than it was before If you remember at the beginning of the video I showed this it was Super nasty down in here. This will make it much easier to work on uh, So yeah, that uh, like I said that really impressed me for how well it did just using a cold water pressure washer on heavy heavy grime i mean the kind of stuff where you can just smear it and get you know a big wad of grease on your finger now it's 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 super clean <laughs> it did did a good job up here on the mast and we're talking about 50 year old you know just baked on their grease from years and years and years and not being cleaned because it's just a piece of industrial equipment and most of these things don't see a whole lot of maintenance so like most of them this one was pretty neglected and i'm doing my best to fix her up here when i have the time uh, i have been using it around here so there's going to be more videos on the fork truck here coming in the future 
I won't even say near future because right now I'm just so backed up on video footage that I don't have time to edit. That is the hold up as far as videos go. I would love to be able to get you guys three, four videos a week, but uh, realistically, just not in the cards. I think she looks pretty darn good. I'm not even sure if I'm going to repaint it. I'm undecided as to what I'm even going to do with this forklift long term. Uh, I'm thinking probably just get all the bugs worked out of her, make it a good working forklift, and uh, probably maybe slap a five gallon Ritchie Brothers bucket overhaul on there and sell her. It's got good tires. You know, it's just not, it's not an outdoor forklift, which is what I'm looking for. I just bought it because it was cheap. Alrighty, YouTube. Well, last week's Wednesday video, I announced that I'd be giving away uh, a free O light to whoever commented the phrase, I want the light in the comments of the video. So what we've got here is a random comment picker. And right now it's going to pull up all the comments and then we'll randomly select one over here. Now what I'm going to do is if the comment that it selects doesn't have the phrase, I want the light in it, we're just going to pick another one until we find one with the phrase, I want the light in it. Um, whoever's about to win this thing, you've got till, you're going to see this video on Wednesday. At least that's what's going to be released. So you've got until Saturday to get a hold of me. Uh, my email is in the description down below. So you've got till Saturday to give me an email saying, hey, I'm so-and-so. And I will get your information and send it on over to you as long as you're in the U.S. That was the stipulations in the video. The shipping gets uh, pretty outrageous when you're outside the U.S. So, so drum roll here. We're about to pick ourselves a winner. All right. W. Michael S. Congratulations, you just won yourself uh, an O-Light flashlight. So, you've got till Saturday. Drop me an email, and uh, we'll get your information. We'll get that sent over to you. Congratulations, bud. Anyway, that's it for today's video, boys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you like the video, don't forget to reach down there and tickle the old thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, you're going to want to subscribe, because, you know awesome channel. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next week. Later.